four magical ways that you can talk to the universe to increase the law of attraction in your life. You know, obviously you're on my channel, you're watching this video, you're interested in the conversation about increasing the law of attraction, increasing your ability to become a manifesting magnet. And this video is definitely about that conversation. I'm gonna give you four ways that you can increase your connection to the universe by talking to the universe in a very specific way. Four very specific ways to be exact. So sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I'm Ashley Ducey, an internationally recognized wood-burning mandala artist, and here on my channel, I share all things positive and uplifting. If you don't already know, I am still running my art program. It's a seven week online course and it's an art class merged with personal growth and development. So obviously if you're on my channel, you really enjoy this conversation, the law of attraction, and that is exactly what my online art class is about. It's about navigating through creativity, different subconscious blocks and limitations that are happening within that are actually decreasing your ability to attract what it is you want. So not only is it an amazing art class with lots of creativity, but it's double with personal growth and personal development. So once the class is completed, you're gonna have way more awareness and way more clarity in your life to attract what it is you want. I really hope to see you in that program, www.ashleyhallartclass.com. Let's get started on those four things. So the trick to speaking to the universe is not only one, starting to speak to the universe, but it's two, speaking to the universe in the same language as the universe. The universe has a very specific way of communicating with this planet, with every single human being that is a source and a stream of wisdom. And that includes you. You have a specific way of speaking to the universe and these four things are about helping you navigate how and what that language feels like for you. My number one way of communicating communicating with the universe to increase the law of attraction, increase your connection in your life, is simply saying what it is you appreciate. The ultimate way of building your relationship with the universe is through love. You know, love and whatever you want to call the spirit in your life, whether it's spirit, divine, Jesus, um, whatever it is, Ja, God, whatever that feels good for you, that language is simply love. That extension, that spirit in your life is an extension of love. It's unconditional love. So how do we create more love in our life? We focus on what it is we're grateful for. We focus on what it is we appreciate. So I like to do this out loud. I oftentimes I call them conversations with God, with divine, with good energy. And I simply walk on the beach or I walk down the street or I circle in my yard and I simply bring my awareness to what I appreciate about the universe. Acting as though the universe is a separate entity. You know, to me, unconditional love, the universe, God, it's within every single thing in our entire universe. It's the good energy that circulates within my body and outside of my body. And whatever it means for you, just simply have a conversation with whatever this energy is, what you appreciate. Man, I am so grateful for you. Just like you're talking to a person, just like you're talking to a friend. I'm so grateful for you because every single day you are breathing in my lungs. You're creating breath in my life. You know, I have skin. I have the ability to walk. I have the ability to see all the colors happening around me. Thank you so much for being such a integral part of my life. From not only how I feel right here, right now, what I can see, all the senses I have, but what you're creating and conspiring for me in this moment. I know there's so much good coming my way and I have you to thank for that. I really, really appreciate your existence in my life and I'm so, so thankful. That's a way of bringing appreciation and putting that kindness, putting that energy and directing it towards the universe. Saying, hey babe, I freaking love you and here's why. You know, creating that connection through a deeper appreciation for that spirit in your life. 
My number two is simply sharing what challenges you right now in your life. You know, oftentimes when things are going great, we're like, yes, woo, thank you universe, you're amazing. But we forget that in times of challenge, the universe is there to support us as well. And oftentimes that's actually the most important time to be in connection, be in relationship with the universe. So take a moment after you give your appreciation and simply share what's challenging you right now. You know, I'm having a really hard time in my relationship and I feel insecure. I feel challenged every day just to get up. I don't have a lot of energy. I just feel tired. You know, I feel unmotivated. I feel uninspired. I don't have a lot of creative energy flowing through me. I just feel exhausted. Whatever's challenging you right now, you know, lean on that friend, lean on the universe. Say, hey, like, can you see this with me? I'm not asking you to fix it. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm just asking for you to hear me right now. Almost like an out loud prayer, but in a way that you're not complaining, but you're being just in a sharing element. So that number two is my share element. It's just being, hey, this is what's up for me right now. It's all good. I'm, I'm navigating it with you, but I just wanted to talk out loud and talk to my friend here, you know, inform you what's going on. So maybe you could bring a little bit more energy into my life, a little more wisdom into this moment. My number three is probably the most important part of these four things, and that's just listening. And you might think I'm crazy, but I'm definitely not crazy. Once you've said your appreciation and you've given your just love and appreciation and gratitude, once you've shared your challenges and you've been open and you've been vulnerable and you've just expressed, hey, this is me right now, like here I am. It's really important to get quiet and listen. You know, maybe you're walking, do a walking meditation. Invite the universe to show up and be willing to hear it. Oftentimes when we help ask for help in our life, we're not open enough to actually receive it when it comes. So it takes a awareness. It takes being still. And that's what my number three is all about. It's just being still, being very present. Whether you're walking meditation, whether you stop and you just relax, maybe you meditate. Create space in your life for you to be able to hear that inner wisdom, that voice, that intelligence, that is this God energy that's moving to and through you. If you give your, you might be thinking, okay, this chick's crazy. Like it's not going to speak to me. I'm not going to hear anything, but that's because you haven't tried. And maybe it's because you haven't tried for long enough. If you simply take a step back and bring your awareness towards this present moment and you say, I invite all of this wisdom to flow through me right now. I'm not going to think. I'm just going to be in a state of feeling, a state of deep appreciation. And I'm going to wait until I feel that wisdom move through me. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a challenging relationship or challenging situation in my life. And I've gone on a walk on the beach and I've walked two miles. And then on the two miles back, I walked in silence. I can't tell you how much juicy goodness came from that two miles of silence. It was profound. And I know that I wouldn't have heard it if I would have continued talking, or I would have called my mom, or I would have called a friend or distracted myself. Really get present with what matters, which is silence for this number three. Get silent, get still, and find that seed of awareness that's trying to make its way to your conscious mind and your heart as well. My number four is awesome and that's simply give your thanks and praises. Um, kind of in alignment with number one, but a little more like thank you so much for giving me the opportunities that you have in this life. I know that all good that's happening right now and all of the good conspiring my direction is you working for me and with me. And I just want you to know that I'm here and I'm a vehicle to your kindness. And today and every single day, I commit to radiating your good energy through me and being a vehicle to those around me to be more inspiring. You know, witness yourself as a vehicle to this spirit and give your thanks and praises for just simply having this partner in your life. You know, again, acting like it's your best friend or your partner. You know, I love to tell Jake I love him every single day, but it's equally important that I tell the universe, I love you. 
Like, thank you for being a reflection of me and reflecting to me what is possible, what's coming towards me. I really hope that you enjoyed these four things that I shared with you. They've empowered my life in every single way. Like I said, I enjoy doing these things and this practice out loud, and I highly encourage you to do the same thing. Take these four things and just roll with it. You know, go and have a conversation with God, with divine, with good energy, and just be a witness to it. Navigate your life through creating this deeper expression and deeper relationship with the universe. You're definitely not going to regret it. When we create more of a relationship with this intelligence in our life, we're just going to be receiving more energy throughout our every single day. So I highly encourage you to practice these four things that I shared with you and also maybe add in a few twists of your own. I want you to comment below. I'm so happy and grateful for the universe in my life. And maybe comment one thing you're grateful for for the universe. I'd love to see what it is that's on your mind, what it is you're thinking, and what this video got you thinking about. Um, my name is Ashley Ducey. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification. I'd love to see you on my future videos. Um, I'd love to see you in my future class. I'm running an online art class right now. Super, super special and unique. All about creating that deeper connection to the universe, to yourself, and your inner artist. No experience is needed, so you're in if you're interested in your creativity at all, or you want to dive deeper into your creativity, I highly suggest taking this class. If you like my channel, if you like what I talk about, you're going to love my seven-week online art class, www.ashleyhallartclass.com. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Hi you guys, I'm super excited to announce the launch of my Ashley Hall art class, something that I run once a year. It's an opportunity to work with me one-on-one -on -one to discover more about your creativity as well as personal growth and development. It's a seven week course rooted within your ability to start defining who it is you are on a deeper level and having more awareness of how you can become a bigger, fuller extension of who it is you are through the process of creating art. So it's something I'm really excited about that I wanted to make sure you had the opportunity to sign up for. That link is right here directly below www.ashleyhallartclass.com if that's something you're interested in i'm super excited to see you there i only host it once a year so this is your one opportunity